And that's fine. I think it's, it's perfectly appropriate that that should be done. However, I would also say that sometimes these people get a, a bad press. I mean, I've spoken to modified car enthusiasts who are great guys, perfectly responsible drivers. I think it can be a bit of a false assumption. Sometimes if, you know, wherever you see a car that's been modified, you think it's a boy racer, which is a bit like assuming that everybody you see wearing a hoodie is a shoplifter. You know, it's just just not true. Often these are perfectly sensible, really nice guys. They just happen to be enthusiastic about their cars and great. So I wouldn't like to see them victimized in any sort of stereotyping way. But by the same token, you're not allowed to have a blacked out windscreen and at least the Garvey will now have the tools to enforce that, which they didn't have before. Okay, uh, Conor Falcon, Director of the Automobile Association, thanks for joining us here on the Lunchtime Programme on News Talk uh, 106 to 108. Loads of your messages coming in. Uh, listener says, we don't have to worry about uh, the Europeans telling us to sell our assets. We give them away for free. Look at the car of gas. Uh, the listener says, uh, are we going to get bad weather from this earthquake in Japan? Uh, a listener says, I take grave exception to your remarks about unions' attitudes to women. Demo, says one of our listeners. There you are. Uh, Rosanna Flynn is uh, joining us now. She represents residents against racism. Rosanna, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Now, you want to raise a point about the, uh, I think it's called the Zamorano case in yes, the European right. courts. Uh, it basically said that where there's a child born in this jurisdiction, typically, uh, that both parents have an entitlement to become or to live here. Is that right? No, not quite right. It's every child with an Irish passport. And in most cases, that means children born in Ireland before January 2005. You see, there was a citizenship referendum. Every child born before that date um, has Irish citizenship and is entitled to the company of both parents. Okay, what's happened now is that... Um some children born after that date, the ruling may affect their parents, they may be entitled to live here, and you want the actual state to go and collect the people that they've thrown out of the country and bring them back, is that right? No, uh, actually the ruling only affects, it cannot help any child born here after January 2005, unless one parent is an Irish citizen. Okay, so it's certainly not every child. It's a, of course, it's a limited yeah. number of um, cases. But there are cases, I think, where families have been split up. There are terrible cases, many that we know. We've had uh, fathers of Irish citizen children who are calling us, phoning us from Nigeria, and it's very good news for them because that has caused absolute heartbreak in families. Um, you know, very often in those families, the mother has permission to remain and to work, and the mother is working, the family is taking no money from the state, and the father is doing the day-to-day childcare, uh, getting the kids up, taking them to school, etc., you know? So the bond is very, very close with the children, and, um, I mean, tragic cases with kids crying for their daddies, you know? Daddy is gone. So what do, you, what do you want done about it? Do you want the department to go and, I presume it's the Department of Foreign Affairs or Justice or both justice, of them, yeah. Yeah, to go and uh, basically offer the people they've thrown out a right to come back? They and, have uh, to do that now. Yes, yeah. that will be done. I've talked to the lawyers. It was uh, our lawyers who were fighting the case. We've been fighting this case for several years now, you know. And um, it, it's absolutely brilliant. There's, you know, it's not far-sweeping. It, it, the thing is, it has... Um, uh, because of the way it's worded, it has given lots of people the impression that all children born in Ireland, but that is not so. It's no, only before that date. What, what you're saying, it's a small number of, of cases, but yes. there's a lot of uh, problems arising with those cases because of the absence of parents and so yes, forth. Yes, I think it's about 700 cases in Ireland and probably about 20 who have been deported. Okay, Rosanna Flynn of Residents Against Racism, thank you very much for joining us here on the Lunchtime Programme to explain that. Now, loads of your messages. Uh, are they going to clamp down on the yummy mummies driving while they have their oversized sunglasses on their noses, says Keith in Dublin too. He wants them to test the visibility 